how to convert any file or a folder into an ISO image. Hi everyone, my name is Saad and in this video we are going to see a simple software which can convert any folder or any file into a simple ISO image. This will be a bootable image file. So without wasting any time, let's get started with this video. So what you have to do is just right here, image burn on the Google and just go to the official website that you see here and just go to the download from here and just use the mirror link, which is the latest one. Just I'll click this one. It will open the exe file and it will start downloading automatically. But, but if it doesn't, you can use this area right here and just choose the desired location where you want to save all of your files and click save. Now, if you're using the brave browser, it will show you this unverified download blocked. Don't worry, it shows it for all the softwares. So just click here and click on download the unverified file and just go to the software and let's install it. Click yes. Yes. Next, I accept. It's pretty straightforward installation. So I'll just quickly go through it. And then after the installation is done, click finish and you will see a desktop shortcut on your desktop right here. Just open that. And now let's say I want to create an image file from files or folder. I'll use this option right here. Now I'll browse a file or a folder. In this case, I'll show you how to create it for a folder. So let's go to the drive. And for example, this is the one I want to create an ISO image for. And just to show you quickly, it's only of 611 KB. But otherwise, if it is a bulky software, it depends on the size of the software that much time it will take to convert to ISO image. So just choose the folder. Now, similarly here, we will choose our destination. For example, I want to keep this output file in the same folder and click on save and let's create a new folder here. Place it here, click on save. And here is my folder selected. Now, if you want to make a simple ISO image file and it shouldn't be bootable, then this should be it and just continue with the uh, conversion and you are good to go. But if you want to make this bootable, we have some more settings on the right hand side. We can see the information and options in these couple of tabs. So we need some simple adjustments. I'll go to the options here. Now, let's say I want to make it bootable. So I'll go to advanced tab and then click on bootable disk and click on make image bootable. Now here I'll just choose the boot image. Just click on browse here and you should have a Windows application file in order to uh, boot this. So let's go to the file location. For example, this one where your Windows folder is kept. So if you let's say have a Windows 11 ISO file, you can just right click and mount that and you can just go to this E drive folder, right? Like I'm seeing right here and just go here. Just go to the boot and select this boot fix dot bin and select this ETFS boot and click on open. Now here you can see the sectors to load is set to four. I'll change it to eight. Just quickly change it. And now comes the main part that is conversion of folder to ISO image. Just click on build and you are good to go. It will ask you, you have selected only one folder you want to continue. Yes. And it will ask you something again. Click on yes. I click on OK. And now it has started and completed the installation right away. That's because we have only selected the file or a folder of just some KBs. So that's why it's completed the operation. Click on OK. And after it's done, you can just go to the folder and you will see two files right here. One is the ISO image file and one will be the disk image file, which is uh, of image burn software. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so that you can get notified of all the future videos. This is Saad signing off from today's video. Take care.